Hey everyone, this is your host, Lord Dixie, welcoming you back to another episode of In the Dark, and you can call me Alan, if you know me from Facebook. Uh, we got a little music going in the background right now. We're going to get right into the show with our special guest, Elizabeth Mears, uh, star of Dollface and one of the stars of... Uh, we're doing things a little bit differently this week. This is a Halloween episode, Halloween special. It is the night before Halloween, so no bullshit to start out the show. No sound guy Willie. We're getting right to the good shit with our special guest, Miss Elizabeth Lizzie Mears. Hello, Lizzie. Can I call you Lizzie or you prefer Elizabeth? Lizzie's great. Awesome. <laughs> I'm not too loud, am I? No, you're, you sound great. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, thanks for coming on. We've talked to you once before. Um, you are in a new movie that is getting a lot of buzz. It has had its premiere, so maybe Tommy won't kill me if you say too much or spoil it. I'm not going to ask you to spoil it because that sucks, but uh, tell us a little bit about your new movie. Um, so the movie is called Family Possession, um, and it is... My second movie with Tommy, and the last movie we did was kind of a like satire movie. It just a little bit more serious, a little bit more, I think a little scarier, um, kind of more paranormal, I guess. Uh, that's, the name is Family Possession, so it's kind of like about, you know, ghost possessing, you know, those kind of things. And uh, I return as another not so nice character and um it's a lot of fun i don't know i, I really enjoyed um shooting it <laughs> i actually haven't even seen it yet oh that's right you told me you missed the premiere last night oh <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to see it i'm really excited about it um due to mark Patton being in it for one reason felisa rose is always fun always great and i'm just keep hearing a lot of good things about it yeah yeah uh it was it was great, and then having those two in the movie was really cool. I actually didn't get to film with Felissa, but I met her at the Crimson Screen um, Film Festival, yes. so that was great, and uh, I had heard nothing but good things about her, and then uh, they were all just confirmed when I actually met her in person. So. <laughs> really a sweetheart. I met her once, and just a very, very nice, seems a very real person. Um, yeah. How was it with Mark? You did have some scenes with him, correct? Yes, it was really fun. Um, I met him the morning that we started shooting. Um, it would have been cool if I got to like, hang out with him beforehand, but um, we met that morning, and I just thought he was super nice, very talented, and um, just really fun to work with. Um, I liked playing off of him, and I just thought we had a good time together. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, he's I would love to meet him, and this is his return to horror, which I think should get a lot of buzz from the horror fans of press, and hopefully it's going to be a great movie. Um, you said you play another mean character in this one. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. I play a mean character, and it's funny just because, like, in Dollface, me and Leah's character, um, like Janet and Donna, they butted heads, and then here we are again, and this is going to be butting heads again. And, um, yeah, it's just it's funny, and it's fun to be mean to her in movies. <laughs> It is fun to be mean to Leah. I can see where that would be true. Uh, but y'all too, actually. You know, that's it's all acting, right? Y'all both seem like very nice people. Uh, oh yeah, sure. We're uh, we're this acting. Sure. <laughs> no, we're real really good friends, and I actually wish I would we lived a little bit closer together so we could hang out more. But um, what I'm looking forward to is making like the festival circuit with this movie because that is always so fun. You know, last, last movie we got to go to like fear fit and all that good stuff. And that was just, that was really fun. You know, the first year me and Christian 
James, we went, and we were the only two cast members that went. But being um, with him and then with Tommy and Robbie is always a lot of fun. That <laughs> seems like that would be a very interesting drive anywhere. Uh, I, oh, I've, seen a, I've seen a few of Tommy's live videos, that, and I'm like, okay, yeah. that definitely looks like they're having fun. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, festivals are always fun. Um, so, Family Possessions, uh, it's doing the festival circuit now, correct? It's, yep. After the premiere, it's going to keep going around. I don't guess at this point there's any news about a DVD release. I know that will come at some point in time in a VOD. No. Yeah, nothing that I know of yet. I, I really hope that it kind of sees the same uh success with that that dollface did and it, it that took around like a year or so of like doing the festival circuit i think it was a little while but we were all really excited when that happened so i'm i have a good feeling about it <laughs> i do too it just it just seems like a good project and everybody um i've talked to tommy at a couple of conventions and i interviewed him once and he seems like a really good guy and it seems like everybody likes to work with him um, yeah I keep, oh, he's I great keep hearing about the cabin that i've Got to see. I, have you seen the cabin? Yep, I've seen it a couple of times. Um, cause a lot of times when we first started showing Dollface, um, the cabin would all die at certain things. Um, and yeah, I love that movie. That's great. It was on Shorts HD also, so I watched it when it came on TV, which was cool to see. <laughs> Yeah, I want to see it. I, I talked to Jason a couple of weeks ago, and he said it's a great film. I think he was in it, too. Yeah, uh, yeah he was. <laughs> all right, so uh, what else, anything else going on other than Family Possessions right now? Other than Family Possessions, I've got um, a short that's going to be showing at the Charleston International Film Festival, which is coming up in about a week. Um, that's going to be showing there, which is amazing. And then um, after it shows there... Uh, hopefully we'll see where else we can take it, other festivals. Um, I've also been doing a little bit of like my own filmmaking, which has been a fun experience. And one thing I'll, we'll say about that is it's a lot harder than it seems. Um, me and Kirsten Ray from Dollface, who played, uh, who played Shelby, she and I wrote a little thing together. We filmed it, um, and then we're just working on finishing that up now. So. Are you directing it as well? I was directing it, I was in it, and she she's like the main character, um, so I wanted to try like being behind the camera a little bit more, yeah. uh, but I have like a whole team <laughs> Okay, so you're putting on many hats now. Don't yeah, I, right it's right a lot of fun, but it is nowhere near as easy as like Tommy makes it look, you know, it's kind of one of those things where I think you say, oh, I can make movies, you know, but then you start doing it, and you're like, oh, this is like a three-minute film, and it took all day, one day, and like... I think a lot of other really short films take much longer than that, you know, so well, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's so easy to look at a theater, at a film, and when you're sitting in a the theater watching it and saying, well, that sucks. I could have done better. I could have done this. <laughs> I cannot imagine, though, taking a concept or a script and being able to visual, not only just to visualize it, but put that same vision to everyone else so that they know what to do, direct them, yeah. and make it. It just blows my mind to even contemplate it. Oh, yeah, that's something that happened when we were filming. I, you know, after, after we were done, like, filming a scene or something, I remember just being like, that's exactly what I thought it was going to, like, look like in my head, but it still isn't right. So it's almost like I would get it exactly how I thought, but then I'm like, no one else is going to understand this. So you really have to be super diligent and, like, really on top of your story and, and knowing where it's going, and it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like I said, I can only imagine, and... The angles and everything. I just watch a movie and I'm, I, I'm cool with it. But then if I start thinking about how this is done, it's just blowing my mind to make. Oh yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so Dollface was your first time working with Tommy. Uh, you're working with him again now on Family Possessions. Um, I guess has he talked about any projects in the future? or Is he just totally tunnel vision on Family Possessions? Since I really have very little clue about how directors actually plan this stuff out. From what I know of Tommy is he kind of makes movies in order to make more movies. Like, he, with Dollface, you know, he got that funded, um, and then he wanted to use every bit of whatever he got back to put into Family Possessions. And then same thing with Family Possessions. I think he'll take a little break, do this 
I say break, but really he's touring it, you know, with festivals and everything. And then whatever he's able to hopefully get from doing it, he'll start making another one. And I, for one, you know, want to be in every movie he makes. I think he's really talented and he writes awesome characters. And, you know, when the movie started um, showing, because it showed so far at, in Ohio and then Columbia and then this upcoming weekend it'll be in Greenville on the 5th, November 5th. Um, he he was like, oh, people said that they loved your character. And I was like, that's not because of me. That's because you write awesome characters and you make them, you make them great. <laughs> they really were. And he did, I mean, to some point looking at Dollface, there, you have your kind of stereotypical archetype characters, but they're all kind of unique. They're kind yeah. of, uh, I mean, your Janet was like unbelievably hideously mean. Oh God! Yeah, horrible. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw it on Amazon Prime not long ago, and it's um, the autoplay. And I had went back to the back, came back in, and Dollface was playing. And it was, uh, a scene in the, it was a scene in the classroom with you. So I'm like, oh, and I'm like, oh, there's Elizabeth on TV. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, wow, I'd forgotten what a bitch she was. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah, I would never have recognized that was you. And I did come thinking out, when I come out of theater, I'm like, I know I met one of the cast members outside, but none of them look or act like I've <laughs> seen. I, I was totally blown when I did realize, wow, this is Janet. This is the girl <laughs> who should probably never pee in the woods again in her life. Uh, she, she never will. Never will again. <laughs> um, so besides acting... And I don't know if you do this professionally, semi-professionally, but I, I do know you like to sing. I do, yes. I love to sing. Um, I do it for fun. I play a little guitar. Um, but recently I've been trying to, been working with someone that we've been uh, recording like a little cover of a song. And we're going to do like a little video to go along with it and um, hopefully put that out soon. And I told him that I really want to do more. Um, he's really talented, so I was like, let's write some music, let's do all that. So I'm hoping to kind of get that side of things going here pretty soon. And I love to sing. It's really fun. And I like to write music. You should come yeah. up and just sing. On, and we'll make a hey, I'm down. Just you singing. <laughs> I'm down for that. <laughs> I was like, I would really like to get her to do, like, the theme song for the show. But then I'm like, well, I don't own the copyright to it, and she doesn't. So that might lead into it. Oh, no. Right, right. Yeah. So I thought, all right, we'll, we'll pump. We'll throw that off. Write, write something spooky. <laughs> yeah, you can write something spooky. Yeah. <laughs> I actually love the song from, from Dust Till Dawn. I love the song. Yeah, yeah. 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 So just singing for fun. Um, so Tommy won't let you sing in a movie yet. Not yet. Maybe maybe another time. Or maybe I'll be like that jerky girl in some movie who tries to sing and she's terrible. And then everyone laughs at her and it's a downfall. Over here, <laughs> you should you should write that. <laughs> yes, that's that would be some actual acting though on your part. That would you would not only be the mean girl, but which you can do. You've shown that you can do over and over again. But you would also be a bad singer, which might be a stretch for you. Well, we'll see. Sometimes it's not. You don't warm up quite right. You sound pretty bad. <laughs> it's always a stretch for me. <laughs> I do love to sing. I do love the karaoke. But God, it's horrible. Oh, okay. karaoke is, uh, when I go out and sing karaoke, is never good. <laughs> I actually, uh, I, I did Little Red Riding Hood, and someone said, that is the best you've ever done. I'm like, well, thank you, thank you. And he said, I didn't say it was good. I said, it's the best thing you've ever done. <laughs> what a jerk. Yes, I, I, I was just ready to buy this full red suit and a wolf's head for my stage act and go on tour, and you popped that on me. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. And because of that, I will make sure that your video gets more hits than Leah's. Good. Good. Awesome. Darn straight. <laughs> she said you were actually mean in real life. I said I, I have a hard time believing that. Leah said that. I heard. I heard her say that on, on y'all's uh, podcast, and I was like, oh, I'm not getting into that. She did, yeah. she did take it back, but after it was over, she liked. No, for real. She's. <laughs> But she'll kill me if she hears this. 
Oh my god, she won. No. I am gonna kill her. No. <laughs> She seems to be a very nice person. I, I guess I kind of bit into her character a little too much, too, so I was kind of expecting more of a deer in the headlights, and I'm like, I don't know how to prepare for this. I, I yeah. know If I come out and tell a raunchy joke, if she's going to start to cry because of... And, no, she surprised me. She was, But she was very funny. She plays that character super-duper super well, and it's funny. Because it, it, I feel the same way. You know, even, like, when I first met her, it's kind of like one of those things where, you know... You first meet someone, everyone's like kind of on their best behavior. They don't act too crazy yet, you know. They want you to think they're normal. Um, and so I was like, oh, she's very quiet and sweet, and she looks so sweet and innocent, you know. And she is, of course. But it's just funny when you when you really get to know her. She just kind of she's really funny and she's really like sassy and not like her characters because her characters are so sweet. Yeah, I still don't see how you go to that place and become Janet, though. That <laughs> just, especially with the, uh, I guess it's been out long enough. It's no spoiler with the tampon scene. Uh, <laughs> that was one, and when I first, I'm like, I don't believe nobody does it. That's like the nastiest thing in the world. But I'm like, but that was funny. Oh yeah, no, that's all Tommy. I just, yeah, Tommy is hilarious. So <laughs> I talked to him about it. He's got that great way to put these characters that could become stereotypical like the drag queens and do it in a way that I don't think anyone was offended. Everyone was laughing. I mean, I would, um, they were hilarious, but I never felt like they're, you know, being made fun of, you know, at them because they're people who are acting really, really stupid, not because, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's got a great way of working with his characters. Yeah, he does. They're very also even in like, Dollface, when it was satirical, it's kind of like still multi dimensional, which is good. They weren't, you know, flat characters at all. No, no, no. Very good. I, I look forward to seeing more from them. Now, you have also um, you've done some stuff on the, is it Discovery Investigative or Discovery, one of those? Yeah. It's Investigation to Discovery and there's Destination of America. They kind of do those like recreation shows where. It'll be about, like, murders or crimes or something like that, which is really fun. And I hope I get to do more of those. They're awesome to film. Do they let you be, like, the nice girl on there, or are you still the evil? Mm-hmm. I'm, still, I'm still pretty mean. I feel like I've kind of gotten, um... Typecast? Mm, yeah, a little bit. A little typecast, but honestly, I'm not mad about it because I feel like it's fun. Those, those characters are fun. <laughs> They're... Being typecast, it, it still gets you work, you know? Yeah, for sure. And I, like, I embrace it. I'm not trying to, like, play against my type at all. You know, like, whenever I update my headshots or whatever, I try to play into that mean girl or, you know, whatever kind of um, you type. Mean girl of, you have. Yeah. I believe we talked about that where I, one of them looks like, yeah, you look like you're ready to steal somebody's husband or wife or both. <laughs> Yeah, I like those kinds. <laughs> They're fun. Because when you're taking headshots, I kind of like to like make a sort of, like I'm acting as well. I mean, well, I want people to see that and say, oh, I can see her playing that part, you know, for sure. So, you, yeah, but like I, I started to say, no one wants to see Robert England in a romantic comedy, you know? Uh, right. want to see Robert as Freddy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For sure. It was Jason just to see what he did with it, but yeah, no, no one wants to see him do stand up. Well, you know, it would be interesting. But <laughs> <laughs> that would, well, you know, Derek Mears who played uh, Jason in the remake does do stand up comedy, <laughs> and he's oh, uh, wow. yes, he's hilarious. He's uh, absolutely. I've never seen his show, but I've interacted with him on Facebook, and Derek is hilarious. Oh, Oops, I don't oh know. I'd like to see that. <laughs> he's got giant. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'd like to see that for sure. <laughs> I, I have no idea what I did. I t- tapped one button, I tapped another one, and then suddenly, boom, you're... I big? didn't think my screen was that big, yes. There were, like, no borders or anything, just Lizzie. Woo! A Lizzie explosion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, anything else you want to talk about or plug about? And then, it is Halloween. There's a lot of weird shit going on. Pardon my language. Oh, yeah. you probably heard me curse before. Um live i feel like i'm like me and you are alone together and i'm cursing at you i'm like what's this shit? um <laughs> you have big halloween plans or did you do the saturday halloween you work though so 
Hey, yeah, I work yesterday. I work today, most of the day. Um, and then I think maybe tomorrow on actual Halloween. And it's, it's weird because like, I'm getting ready to turn 27. And I've, I know, I have never not dressed up for Halloween. You know, every year I'm like, I'm not too old. I'm not too old. I'm not too old. And then this year, I still am like, I'm not too old. I'm going to definitely dress up for Halloween. But now this year, I'm not doing, like, the whole weekend where it's Halloween. You know, now I'm like, okay, on Halloween, I'll go out. I'll dress up. And, uh, you know, that would be good enough. It used to be, okay, i got to make a whole weekend out of it. <laughs> and I would, too. I would go out Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then whatever, you know, on actual Halloween. So. <laughs> I my uh, oldest nephew was born Halloween night, so that kind of stopped me, you know, for a long time. Then it was like birthday parties on Halloween, oh, yeah. taking them trick or treating, yeah. but it's cool. Um, I would dress up. I always end up working on Halloween. I'm going to work tomorrow night. So, and right. last night I was working on software and computer shit all day and worn out. Goodness, yeah. <laughs> so just work. And no big Halloween plans. Oh, well. Okay, well, let's yeah. yes. it, It's kind of spooky out. Um, I want to maybe take some live calls, even though this isn't a live show, but it is Halloween and weird shit happens, and people are actually starting to call in. But do you want to plug anything before this completely goes downhill? Um, I basically would just say, uh, if you're in Charleston on the 5th, come to the Charleston International Film Festival. Um, my film, Escape, will be playing. I'm, an, I'm acting in it. Uh-huh. Um, it's short little 12 minute film uh a little drama and also i'd like to say greenville uh south carolina at the ready reels film festival family possessions will be playing there on the fifth that evening and yeah you should come out to it and then check my facebook page or the family possessions facebook page like it and you can get all the updates you can see where it's playing hopefully distribution deal you can Check that out soon, I hope. You know, there's. I have no information on that. That's not even like a little teaser. I'm just, that's me hoping. Um, but uh, yeah, just I would say like the page and you can get all the upcoming screenings and you'll know where they are. <laughs> yeah, one more thing. You said Charleston. You live in Charleston, right? Or close to Charleston. I'm not, getting, I'm not going to get you to give out your address on the internet. <laughs> but yeah, I live in Charleston. <laughs> uh, Honig, Charleston, right? Yeah. I yes. love that. I, I, I've been to New Orleans. I've got a friend who wants me to go to Savannah. I wanted to go to Charleston, too. And y'all have a French Quarter there, too, correct? Or is that Savannah? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm, I'm weird. I, I'm such a bad tourist in my own town. I need to go yeah. out more. <laughs> uh, never mind that. I was going to say, maybe I I, I, work, I write for another website, and I'm like, maybe we'll get up there with a camera and like do like a haunted tour, but you don't know the way around. Never mind. You'll just get us lost I and stabbed. <laughs> But it is, yeah, it is haunted. There's the old city jail downtown, and um, anyone that comes to Charleston, I recommend checking that out. They, they do tours and go into jail. Um, lots of weird things have been seen. I actually filmed like this little short thing in the jail one night, and um, I had to sit in this like, really old wheelchair, and I was sitting there in the wheelchair. We were in between takes waiting to film, and all of a sudden, the wheelchair just like lurched forward. And it was just sitting, no one pushed it, and I did get scared, and I had to, like, stand up and take a little break, because it freaked me out. We were in a room that, I guess, like, one of the most famous ghosts of Charleston stayed in, um, and died there, and, uh, scared me. <laughs> I, I want to do it. I, I love the haunted areas. I've been to New Orleans a bunch of times in other areas. I really love it. So that Charleston and Savannah both are in my goals to make it there one day but okay yeah. it, does, it does look like we have a caller on which is kind of like that's kind of weird since this is pre-recorded and no one even knows that we're doing this but it is halloween <laughs> weird shit happens and if you can't hear this or if it's too loud i okay hello uh caller one are you there hello am i on the air uh yes go ahead this is dr aculox long time listener first time caller well, thank you. This Lord Dickwad. It's actually Dixie, Lord Dixie. Yes, I have a question for Elizabeth. Is that okay? Yes, hello. Elizabeth, what advice would you have for an aspiring actor who can only work after sundown? 
Okay. <laughs> Could you hear that with the weird accent? No. I think so. I think I heard it. What advice for an aspiring actor who can only work before sundown, right? Like After sundown, I believe, yes. I, I don't know what's up with that shit. Yeah, um, I would say get into like some late night theater to start. Um, preferably, you know, after the sun goes down, like you said. Can rehearse in the evenings around eight ish. Yeah. Um, shows can be then, and I would get started with that. And then I would uh, get into some films that only film indoors that or late. That's a really good advice. <laughs> also, I would say don't be an asshole and call the podcast host a dickwad, and you might get to you at some point. Um, yeah, don't do that either. <laughs> so, did that. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to say? You are a tweed! Well, I think he called me a tweed, and I don't even know what that is, but I'm sure somebody will figure it out. All right, here. There's somebody else. And it looks Halloween. It's all kinds of weird shit going on. There is some weird stuff. Hi, um. Uh, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Greetings, people of Earth. I have been a fan of Lord Dixie for a very long time. Well, thank you, and thank you for getting my name right instead of the other asshole. I am so happy to be on the actual show. We're happy to have you. I have a question for Elizabeth. Uh, go ahead. Elizabeth, would you please take me to your leader, but not the orange one? <laughs> yes, yes, I will. All Just right. keep your contact information at the end. And we can find that. Phone number. Yeah, all right. I, know, I see how that is. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you, caller, but we don't get into politics here, so thank you for that shit. Getting us in yeah. trouble. Okay. That's, <laughs> it looks like someone else, and I promise this doesn't go on too long for the people who are already bored and hanging up. Right. Uh, caller, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, apparently there's some really weird people coming out tonight. I don't know if you did that, but apparently he's saying fire is bad and bread is good. And I guess he's asking if you agree with that or maybe how bread is good when fire is bad. Yeah, I um, I would agree with him. I tend to agree. But man, I feel like getting spooked out. Halloween's really scary. I, 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 I know. I let's, uh, Okay, caller. Thank you, caller. Uh, it's uh, all right when someone else uh this is uh, i'm sorry i was going to introduce a fake names i made up i mean the real names that show up on my screen here um, okay this is from carl carl s blade what you got in there is good to eat you got any biscuits for sale in there okay uh, i i yeah i don't have any biscuits for sale do you have any biscuits i don't personally but there's a great place in charleston you can go called hot little biscuit oh hot little biscuit that sounds <laughs> intriguing all right now carl <laughs> reckon you make me some biscuits well she just told you where you could go and buy some biscuits i i don't think you should be pressing her to make you biscuits i'm gonna just say goodbye carl bye carl all right then all right, I think we got one more caller, and then we'll move on to something which is hopefully not as annoying and borderline indecent as this. Uh, this is Willie, sound guy Willie, who I fired. But, uh, okay, um, I'm against my better judgment. Hello, Willie. you wish you had smell vision because it is so good. Willie! <laughs> that is totally wrong. <laughs> Willie, how could you? Oh, wow. We have Carl on, who apparently wants your biscuits and really bad. And then we yeah. have Willie who wants you to smell his farts. That is gross, Willie. I bet he hasn't even seen Dollface. <laughs> what the heck? Come on, man. <laughs> that worked better than I thought. Thank you, callers. Um, Thank you, callers. 
it's really strange out. I don't think I'm going out trick or treating now. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to take a short break here, and then we're going to come back with our final segment and say goodbye to Lizzie so she can go scrub her ears out and pretend this never happened. Bye, guys! We are back from that quick break, and we're going to finish up with Lizzie so she can get back with her busy life of writing, directing, singing, and acting, and being mean in movies. No more callers. But we are doing something which I promise I did not steal from Jon Stewart and The Daily Show a long time ago, or whoever did The Daily Show. This is, I'm calling it The Lightning Round, and it has not been trademarked by anyone, I hope. I I tried to check. I, I didn't check. But... Basically, I'm going to ask you a series of 10 questions, unless I count it wrong. Just give me the first answer that comes off of your head. Okay, cool. Perfect. You can laugh. You can scream. You can't hit me Hit me because we're on the internet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, celebrity boxing. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the lightning round, Miss Elizabeth? Yes, I'm ready. All right, we shall begin with easy. Boxers or briefs? Briefs. I said easy, and you're like, hmm, let me Google this. Can I phone a lifeline? <laughs> okay. Sandals or thongs? Thongs. Yeah, because nobody would want a sandal up their ass. <laughs> it's not, I, I don't even know why. Favorite horror movie? Feel like possession. Good answer. Uh, <laughs> liquor or wine? Wine. See, that one almost got dirty if you say it real fast. Um <laughs> What's orange, puffed up, and full of hot air? Donald Trump? We were going for Cheeto, but thank you. Cheeto's awesome. <laughs> what, wait, we got a ruling from the judges. Yes, they will take Trump. Thank you. Yeah. Who gave the most feels, Harambe or Glenn? <gasps> oh. Harambe. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. The Time Warp <laughs> or the Dougie? Time Warp. Okay, if you'd, if you'd said the Dougie, we would have asked you to demonstrate. Thank God. <laughs> if you could only do one, would you buy Nicolas Cage a new toupee or Daryl Dixon a bar of soap? Ooh, Nicolas Cage toupee. Thank you. Last question. How many questions did we ask? Ten. Oh, thank God. I couldn't remember. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, in that case, we're going to bring this to the end. Um, we're plugging your movie that you directed, written, your short that's going to be playing. It's uh, What's that date again? Oh, that is called Escape, and it's playing on November 5th in Charleston, South Carolina at the Charleston International Music Festival. November I mean, not music, international festival. That's, that's okay. we'll, we'll fix it on the internet. Uh, okay. On the website, and that's November 5th. Uh, yes. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Yes. How you remember it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Family Possessions is making the film festival circuit. Try to catch it. I guarantee you will probably enjoy it unless you're Carl. Yeah, Carl. What's his problem? <laughs> yes, Carl's still looking for your biscuits. I can't, you know, well. Um... Keep looking. <laughs> All right. In that case, we're going to say goodbye to Lizzie. I hate saying goodbye to her. Um, we will see her on the big screen. Oh, she's pouting. Yeah, she's. <laughs> that's how good of an actress she is. She actually acts like she doesn't want to leave, but inside oh, she was like, "I gotta go. This, this is weird. <laughs> this is strange." And now he knows where I live. No, no. All right. Love well, it. Thank, thank you very much for coming on. I'm going to say goodbye thank to you. the audience, and then I'll say goodbye to Lizzie in private. Um, <laughs> around for a tiny bit more right after this. Well, Lizzie has left us and the night is rapidly closing in on this eve of All Hallows Eve. Uh, It can be crazy out there, so be careful. Keep an eye out for those crazy clowns. Uh, Please don't shoot the clowns. Unless you have to. to. Uh, also, 
Keep an eye out for Carl. He's looking for biscuits, and yours might not be safe. I do want to thank Lizzie for coming on and putting up with the insanity, for taking our calls and playing the lightning round with us. Uh, Hope to talk to her again in the future. Make sure you look out for her and Family Possessions and her short film uh, coming to you on November the 5th in Charleston, South Carolina. And that's all I've got, and we are going to crawl back into the crypt for the night. Everyone stay safe, and we will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.